We used ordinary students who volunteered to undergo the tests. At different periods and at different temperatures, we observed the effects on our subjects, measuring all the things you might expect. Body temperature, blood pressure, pulse rate. And each showed symptoms of disorientation and confusion of mind, similar to Bon Vouloir. It was at this point that Dr. Harry Longman, whose own research at this time was devoted to respiration, walked through our lab. He asked a very simple question. What makes you think it's got anything to do with temperature? It hadn't anything to do with low temperature. Bon Vouloir and our student guinea pigs had been affected not by the cold, but by their prolonged isolation. One week later, we changed the name of the laboratory to isolation. Now, by isolation, we mean the study of what happens to a man when you take away all sensation. We want to know what happens to him if he sees nothing, feels nothing, tastes nothing, hears nothing, and smells nothing. We want to know what happens to the body and particularly to the central nervous system when a man is put into this complete isolation, into the sort of conditions that may well be experienced in spaceflight. To do this, we invented a perfectly simple piece of apparatus. When a man is submerged in this tank of ordinary water at blood heat, all sensations over a period of time can be reduced to a minimum. He is utterly isolated, lonely, bewildered. Studying his behavior under these conditions, we found we had stepped into a new and frightening world. We seemed to be dealing literally with the physics of the soul. <laughs> 